absolutely amazing. We did not expect this. We didn't expect this, but I tell you what, everybody here, you're absolutely amazing and you know exactly why you're here. We're fed up of being on the hind head all the time. It's no good. The funding is not working. Core funding is not working. We are providing a service. We're providing buildings. We're providing all the care. And the government are not paying attention and they're not paying enough money to us. Their funding is, they're calling it, um, core funding is going into the child sector. There are too many people hanging off the child sector. The likes, they don't tell you the money is going to Pobble, the departments, it's going to Tulsa. We are heavily, heavily regulated. We're micromanaged. It just has to stop. It has to stop somewhere. And people are in big trouble. And they need, we, we see it today. We now know that everybody is getting behind the childcare providers. Because if we don't, there are too many people that are not going to be able to go out to work because they don't have the childcare in place. The, most of the childcare is, 75% of it is, is private. And they're trying to call themselves our partners. They are, they are not our partners. There's no partner will make you run a business where you're just about, your head is up over the water. It's, it's no good. So they have to stop that and they have to sit and listen. And we have, we have a minister in there that clearly, clearly, as is, is, is he told us today, this morning he said the 65 providers had closed down today. How many are here for God's sake? We're right back. Half, we're, we're back to the traffic lights at the other side, the end of the street. There, there's, a, there's thousands here. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, if he wants to know about unwarranted, I tell you one thing. He, he reckon this is unwarranted. What's unwarranted is when he continues on the path that he's been going in, in rhetoric and spin by telling people that you're getting enough of funding. There was somebody that closed, uh, he was on the radio the other day, somebody closed in, in his own constituency, and he said, well, they were getting enough of money. He was more or less saying, they're getting enough of funding, they should be able to keep going. There's people on their knees, they're on their knees trying to keep places going. They're borrowing money from families, they're borrowing from banks, they're on overdrafts. It's absolute crazy what's going on. There's one woman that we know very well, she spent 20,000 euro of her child's college fund to keep her place open. And for what? They, they, they just want to nail us into the ground. It is absolutely scandalous what's going on. Um, it's amazing here to see all these people. It's amazing to see, uh, just looking around us here, that everybody came here today and their trains and buses and it's, it's just absolutely amazing and overwhelming. But we all know why we're here. And we need to stop this. They're not partners. They need, to, they need to sit up and listen. They cannot be overburdening us with paperwork. They, they have a new thing coming out now where you need to be nearly an accountant in order to claim the pittance of core funding, of what they, they, they call we're being well paid. They need to cut out and they also need to be transparent in where all this money is going. This money is not reaching where it should be. The, the people that matter most are the people on the ground. And that's, the, that's you, you and me and everybody else is looking after the kids. And the parents, there's a lot of parents here today and they really, really do appreciate what we're doing for them. And they are... <laughs> they truly do. They truly do. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. We, we, we were very nervous ourselves about, about closing for, for three days. We said it's going to cause trouble. We closed anyway, and the amount of parents that came up and said, well done, and we're behind you, because they realize that if something isn't done right now, that there's going to be trouble down the line. There's going to be, it's predominantly uh, females that are going to suffer. It's the women in society that are going to suffer because there's no place for them to bring their kids to get looked after. Affordable it's affordable, but I tell you, it's not affordable for us as businesses. We cannot keep going. We cannot keep going the way we're going. The government needs to sit up. They need to listen. And I think today is a great chance that everybody gets their voices heard. Thank you.